Hello and welcome to another lesson on correction uh, in taping. For this video, I am going to talk about correction due to pull or tension. Okay, so if the tension in the tape is greater or less than the standard, the tape will stretch or become shorter. Tension applied without the aid of a spring balance or tension handle may vary from length to length resulting in random error. Tensioning equipment containing error would produce a systematic error proportional to the number of tape lengths. The effect of this error is greater on a light tape having a small cross-sectional area than on heavy tape. Okay, so dito naman sa production due to pull, kapag mas magaan yung tape na ginagamit natin, mas malaki yung correction niya. Okay, so the formula for the correction due to pull is C sub P is equal to PM minus PS, that's change in P, times L all over AD. Okay, so PL over AD. PM and PS, just like in the correction due to temperature, uh, PM is the uh, pull during the measurement, the actual measurement or laying out. And PS is the standard pull or the standard tension of the tape. L is the, or can be the measured length, the laid out length, or the nominal length. A is the cross-sectional area of the tape, and E is the modulus of elasticity. Area uh, varies from tape to tape, but the modulus of elasticity depends on the material of the tape. Okay, so the area has a formula as well. The area is equal to W all over gamma L. W is the weight of the tape, gamma is the unit weight of the tape, that's the, that's the weight per unit volume, okay, that's gamma, and L is the nominal length, okay, so we can solve for the area if we are given the total weight and the length of the tape. Itong uh, unit weight, that's inherent for a material, okay, so constant yung gamma for a given material. Okay, we will illustrate the use of these formulas in the following example. Okay, let us answer this example. A 30 meter steel tape weighing 1.45 kg is of standard length under a pool of 5 kg supported for full length. The tape was used in measuring a line 938.55 meters long and a smooth level ground under a steady pull of 10 kilograms. Assuming that E is equal to 2 times 10 raised to 6 kg per centimeter square and the unit weight of the steel to be 7.9 times 10 raised to negative 3 kg per cubic centimeters, determine the following. A. Cross-sectional area of the tape. For letter B, the correction due to pull for one tape length and the total correction due to pull. And for letter C, the correct length of the measured line. Okay, I, I want to emphasize mo na the problem saying uh, may sinabi siya rito, no, na uh, very important. Okay, uh, itong uh, supported for full length. Kasi, di ba, we talk about correction due to sag. Okay, ibig sabihin nito, kapag supported all throughout its length, haan nga, uh, naka naka lapat iso na iti ground okay han nga naka suspend iso na therefore there is no correction due to sag for this problem uh, this is purely uh, on the pool okay so later on mamaya sa next video natin pag-aralan din natin kung uh, merong combination ng mga correction okay but for this problem this is purely an correction due to pool or correction due to tension okay wala siyang correction due to sag Okay, let us identify the given. Uh, the nominal length is 30 meters. Uh, the weight of the tape is 1.45 kilograms. Uh, P, itong 5 kilogram, this is the standard pool, right? That's PS. So PS is 5 kilo. Let us write the given. Mm, sorry. The given. Even uh, the nominal length is equal to 30 meters. Uh, weight, that's the weight of the tape. So W is equal to 1.45 kilograms 
the standard pool, standard length under pool of 5 kilograms, so that's P, P sub S, okay? The P sub S is 5, 5 kilograms, okay? The tape was used in measuring a line, that's the measured length, that's ML, it's a measured length. So 938.55 meters. Okay, under a steady pull of 10 kilograms, that's the pull during the measurement. Okay, pull during the measurement is 10 kilograms. Assuming that E is 2 times 10 raised, that's the modulus of elasticity. So, let's na dito. E is 2 times 10 raised to 6 kilogram per square centimeters and the unit weight of the steel the unit weight of the steel is equal to 7.9 times 10 raised to negative 3 kilogram per cubic centimeters okay for part A we are required to solve for the cross-sectional area of the tape Okay, so the cross-sectional area of the tape, area is equal to the weight of the tape divided by the unit weight of the tape multiplied by the length of the tape. Okay, so ito lahat naman ito given na. So we uh, substitute the, uh, the given, that's 1.45 kilograms divided by the unit weight of the steel is 7.9 times 10 raised to negative 3 kilogram per cubic centimeters okay, and then multiplied by the nominal length that's 30 meters okay. uh, but in this case I uh, kailangan uh, no, there is a uh, uh, homogeneity or homogeneity in our units. Okay, dapat pare-parehas yung unit natin. For this example, dapat kung yung, yung unit weight ng steel is in kilogram per cubic centimeters, yung weight dapat in kilogram, the length should be in centimeters. Tama? Okay, so let us uh, from here, i -con -i convert natin yung 30 meters into centimeters. So, times, i-multiply natin ito. Uh, we know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters, okay? So, para makapag-cancel tayo ng mga, okay, ito, kilograms, 2 kilograms, cancel na yan. Okay, and then the, the, itong meter per meter, cancel na rin, cm, tapos cm cube dito, so, ibig sabihin, cm square yung sagot. Diba? And for cm square pupunta sa taas. So, the, ang sagot natin dito ay square centimeters. Okay? Therefore, the area is equal to, okay, ay, let us use the calculator. So, the area is 1.45 over 7.9 exponent negative 3. Tapos times 30 times 100. Okay, so that's equal to yeah, to four decimal places. That's 0 0.0612. 0 0.0612. 0 0.0612. Zero 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 this is in square centimeters. Okay. 0 0.0612 square centimeters. That's our answer for uh, for part A. Now let us go to part B. In part B, we are looking for the correction due to pull ng isang tape length at saka correction due to pull ng uh, buong measurement. Okay? So, itong formula natin for correction due to pull, applicable naman siya for uh, the nominal length or for the full measurement, okay? 
So, the, for one tape length muna, for one tape length, the correction due to pull C sub B is equal to P sub M minus P sub S, that's uh, uh, the pull during the measurement minus pull uh, standard times L all over A E. Okay. So, we substitute the given. So, P sub M is, uh, what's P sub M? Uh, 10 kilograms okay minus p sub s is 5 kilograms Lagay natin dito yung kilogram times the length this is the nominal length kasi we are looking for one tape length muna so that's 30 meters multiplied by 30 meters okay divided by the area we have computed for the area 0.06 one two square centimeters multiplied by the modulus of elasticity of still that's two times ten raised to six kilogram per square centimeters okay so yan yung correction due to pull Tingnan natin yung units natin. Units, we have uh, we can cancel kilogram and kilogram over there. Uh, centimeter square dito and centimeter square doon. So the the unit for this correction is meters kasi meters lang yung natira. No? So we use our calculator to solve for the correction due to pull for one tape length so that's 10 minus 5 that's 5 right 10 minus 5 multiplied by 30 over 0 0.0612 times 2 times 10 that's exponent 6 okay 2 times 10 raised to 6 so we have okay times 10 raised to negative 3 so let's move the decimal point 3 units to the left so that's 0.0012, okay? 0 0.0012 meters, okay? That's the correction per uh, per tape length. Okay, now let us go to the other one, the total correction of the tape, okay? Uh, if you look at this one, the, the pool, it's positive, right? Because the, the pool during the measurement is greater than the standard pool. So, positive yung correction due to pull natin. Ibig sabihin, the tape is too long for uh, during the measurement. Okay? Okay, let us uh, answer the other one. So, this is C sub B. Uh, yung susunod is C sub B total. Okay, the total correction due to pull during the measurement for the whole 938.55 meters. Okay, so the correction due to pull is equal to dal uh, dalawa yung pwede nating ano dito uh, maging solution using the formula for the total correction. Diba? The total correction formula is the correction per unit tape length uh, times the measured length all over the nominal length. Okay, ginagamit natin yun noon doon sa correction due to incorrect tape length. Okay, pero pwede din natin gamitin diretso itong formula na PM minus PS times L over AE. Pero ang gagamitin natin na length is the measured length na 938.55 meters. Okay, so let us do that. 10 minus 5 times the length is 938.55 meters divided by... Uh, area is 0 0.0612 and then the, the modulus of elasticity is 2 times 10 raised to raised to 6 okay so the total correction due to pull is equal to okay, let us calculate 10 minus 5 is 5 times 938.55 and then over 0 0.0612 multiplied by 2 exponent 6 so 0 0.0383 0 0.0383 
meters. Okay, so uh, yan na yung sagot natin for the total correction due to uh, pool. Okay, for the last part, for part C, ang tinatanong sa atin dito, uh, what is the correct length of the measured line? So, may isa lang naman yung formula natin dito. L prime is equal to the measured length plus or minus the correction. Okay? Ito yung general formula natin. So, for in this case, L prime is equal to the measured length uh, 938.55 meters. Okay? Ngayon, pag-isipan natin kung plus or minus. Okay, ang ginagawa natin, diba? isa pa rin yung rule dito, yung rule natin noon na when measuring or laying out magkaiba. When measuring, kapag tulong, kasi itong, itong tape natin ay tulong during the measurement. Measuring tapos tulong, we add or we subtract. So dito, since our tape is tulong and we are measuring, we are going to add. Okay, we are going to add the correction. So that's plus the correction due to uh, pool total. So palitan natin ito correction due to pool total. So 0 0.0383 meters. Okay, therefore the corrected length is uh, 938.55 plus 0.03. So, 938.5883. Okay, so yan na yung sagot natin. Okay, for this example.